Just a quick look at this new Pecron. This is the E300 LFP. And yes, you know, as the name suggests, LFP batteries. So it's only 288 watt hours, but guess what? It's only like 10 pounds and it's pretty small and compact as well. And it's got all the other features that you want. I mean, it's got 100 watt USB-C. It's got 600 watt AC inverter. How about a bunch of 12 volt outlets? It's got just a standard wall cord, <laughs> you know? So yes, it charges up to 300 watts. So it'll charge up in less than an hour. And there is a UPS mode as well and good specs on it too, eight to 20 milliseconds. How about a wireless charger? Flat top and just, you know, a, a display screen that has a lot of information and some unique features as well. So let's kind of talk about all of that here in this video. Yeah, let's start with the AC inverter. It says 600 watts max. So there's no spec on here as to what the continuous rating is. It doesn't say, you know, this is continuous, this is surge. It doesn't say, well, you know, you, it has this voltage dropping feature, which will allow, you know what I mean? So 600 watts max. And then over here as well, it just says up to 600 watts. So as you can see here, it says 100 watts and it has this little, yeah, it has that little icon, the bi-directional icon. So to me, yeah, it's bi-directional 100 watt USB-C, but guess what? Yeah, down here is actually in several places in the listing here, all they say is it's 45 watts. So, but what is interesting is they're giving you a 24 volt output as well, in addition to the two 12 volt outputs. So I don't know, maybe, you know, if you have something that requires 24 volts, you're not going to find that. <laughs> you're not going to really find that feature on many power stations, especially not a small one. So, you know, if that's something you're looking for. Now, the downside of this little setup they have here is, as you can see, this switch here, it powers both the DC and the USB. So I like to see separate switches for those, you, you know, because if you're only using one of them, if you're only using DC or if you're only using USB, you don't want to have all these ports are regulated, right? So it takes a little bit of power. It, you know, it's not, it's not a deal breaker, but still, you know, when we talk about good design, good power station design, they should have separate circuits, separate switches, but you know, it's a budget unit. You're getting, <laughs> you're getting a lot of features here for the price. So that's, you know, yes, they're gonna have to make, they're gonna have to make sacrifices somewhere. And then the input ports are all on the side here and they're covered as well. So that's, that's kind of interesting. There's two inputs, obviously. There's one for the standard wall cord, you know, no power brick, just a standard cord, and it's 300 watts, or, or up to 300 watts. Now, there's an app as well, so I assume you can kind of slow that down if you want. And then the other one is just a 5521, you know, that's for solar. It's the DC input, and you can do up to uh, 100 watts, so it's just the standard, you know. There's nothing special about the solar, you know. It's just... 100 watts and it's just 28 volts so you know but it's a small you know this is a small power station so as long as you can do that that's you can use pretty much any standard you know 100 watt solar panel and you're going to be good to go aren't you and what's interesting here they've kind of gone with this what blue eddie started doing where they tuck the handle into the back because you know everybody likes a fixed handle you know, you want, a, you want a flat top, of course, but if you go for the folding handle, you know, number one, it probably just costs them more money to make a folding handle, doesn't it? Because you got to have the separate part and you got to attach the handle. And, you know, and that's even if you just make a cheap, crappy, flimsy handle, right? One that just kind of smacks down. Yeah, a fixed handle is just always better. So they've kind of done this where they've tucked it in the back like the Blue Eddie, as I mentioned, but guess what? There's actually a wireless charger here on top as well so that was where blue eddie was like well just you know let's get rid of the wireless charger and just put the handle there no so this one you know you get you get both and they even gave us a little light on the side of the unit too so you know to me <laughs> no power station is complete without a little light and now this is really cool because pecron they've kind of used these same simple black and white screens on all of their models like you know their bigger models the 2000 you know the more expensive units and they just kind of had a real basic look to it. So they've kind of, they've, re <laughs> they've redesigned the screen for the small budget unit 
So it's still monotone, it's still black and white, but it's a lot better. And there's some interesting features here too. Check this out. They actually have only three digits for the output and input power. So what it, you know, what did they do? They said, well, you know, if somehow, I don't know, you know, this, they say this thing can only do 600 watts, but I don't know, maybe, <laughs> maybe this is a clue to the fact that they're going to be using this screen on their newer, bigger models because they've got this little kilowatt icon. So that to me, you know, if it were to switch to a four digit number, like at least a thousand watts, well, it can't display a thousand watts, can it? Because it's only three digits. So it's going to switch to kilowatts. So that would be cool. It'd be like 1.00 kilowatts or 1.32 kilowatts. You know what I mean? And now this is really cool. There's a little V on here and you can see actually right here, you can look at the battery level, not just in percentage, but you can actually cycle through a setting to look at it in the voltage. So that's, you know, if you like to really nerd out on these things, and then let's finish this video off with a little bit of design talk about this thing because, you know, Pecron, they have this very unique identity, don't they? With the orange bumpers on the corners. And obviously that's a good idea just from functionality to protect this thing from getting banged up and stuff like that. But they've kind of revised it. They've tweaked it a little bit. So on all their other models, you can see here, the case itself actually flared out. And then the bumper itself really stuck out a little bit extra as well on top of that so you know i guess you know it is going to be actually it's going to be extra good for protecting it but i do like how they've kind of made everything there a little bit more compact and integrated as you can see here you know everything's flat the top and the sides here and then the bumper just barely sticks out you know it's still going to be enough to protect it so I do like that and I hope they continue that with the newer, the new larger models that they're going to be coming out with. And also what's interesting, you know, I talked about this in one of my videos a while back. I guess for a limited time, they were offering a black series. I don't know if any of you guys got your hands on that, but that's like an exclusive rare item now, I guess, because they discontinued it shortly after. So you could actually get you know, all these orange bumpers, everything was just black. And it, actually, I really liked that look. So, you know, because again, it was just kind of excessive. To me, it was like a little bit too much, but I do like this new, like I said, it, it's the same design. They just kind of toned it down a little bit. And it just, it looks a little bit cleaner and more modern, doesn't it? And then the last little thing I'd say is, you know, if you do plan on using the app, um, you might want to just use one of your older phones. I mean, you probably have an older smartphone laying around that works fine. You might want to put all of these power station apps on that phone because, you know, there's a lot of speculation now that a lot of these companies, they're putting a lot of spyware on these apps, you know, and it, I don't think it's anything too nefarious, but, you know, I, if they could sell some of your information for some extra money, they're probably going to do that, aren't they? So maybe don't use your primary phone for these things, you know, and, you know, or maybe just use it to change a few settings and then delete it, whatever you want to do. So, yeah, I mean, to me, this is a, it looks like a solid product. That's what it looks like. You know, I think there's a lot of, there's a lot of you guys that they just, you kind of like to see like what, what's the newest, latest stuff that these companies are doing. And it's kind of fun. It is kind of fun to just look at the specs. So again, you know, if that's you, hopefully you found this video helpful.